Hello, it's Helen from Journal With Purpose and welcome to my latest Journal With Me video. I'll be using a blank traveller's notebook insert and I keep it inside a vintage cover from Start Bay Notebooks. I decided to start my pages off with a simple sketch and I'm using a Derwent Precision Pencil just to get that outline there and I will then use a Staedtler pigment liner to ink over the top. And the process I follow when I'm creating my pages is firstly I start by thinking about what's on my mind and then I often find a quote that I think really matches with how I'm feeling and then create some kind of image or collage which matches that quote. These journal pages are all about all of the dreams that I have kind of popping up in my head at the moment and how lucky I am to often have the chance to follow those dreams. So I found a quote which you'll see me letter in in a while and the feather really matched in well with the quote. To add colour to the feather I'm going to be using some really beautiful watercolour paints from London Gifties. You'll notice that the Staedtler pigment liner that I used to ink in the feather works really well because even with all the water I'll be adding over the top, there won't be any smudging at all. And for the feather, I'm just gonna pick a really simple color palette and just go with three colors just so that it's nice and simple on the page and that I can then use other journal ephemera to tie in easily with it. I've cut these pieces out of the video, but in between each different colour of paint that I use, I do dry the pages using a heat tool. If I wasn't filming, then I'd probably just leave them to dry naturally, but I do find it helps then to make sure that the colours don't all run into each other and create a kind of muddy looking mess. The colours of the three paints I'm using are Crocus, Apricot and Burnt Sienna Luster. And the brush I'm using is a travel brush from Escoda Brushes. I'm never too worried about how neatly I paint inside my journal. It's really more just about the process of having fun and getting some lovely colours onto my page. Next up I'm using some washi tape down the side of my pages and the tapes I'm using are all from London Gifties. I started off with this lovely purple tape which is also created with kind of watercolour effect so I thought that tied in really really nicely. And I'm then adding a kind of yellowy tape which ties in with the yellow on the feather and I'm tearing it all the way down the middle because I really like the effect of that torn tape. I'm now going to add that quote to my page that I mentioned and I'm using a Tombow Fidonosuke brush pen with a firm nib. This is one of my favourite brush pens to use. I find them really easy to control and particularly great if you're first starting out with adding brush lettering. And the quote I'm adding is, a heart without dreams is like a bird without feathers. And that's why I decided to pick that feather as the main image across the centre of my pages. Now that I've finished the quote, I'm going to add some other journal ephemera pieces to my page and I'm tearing out some brown paper from the vintage bundles package from London Gifties and I just really wanted to add a bit of contrast to my page. So I'm sticking those down using Pritt stick and I will also add a dried flower 
and an old postage stamp. And wherever possible, I will try and link the products or shops in the description box down below. When creating journal pages, the writing's obviously really important to me, but equally important is taking that time to relax and create. And I always think that the pages I create and the colours I use are a reflection of how I'm feeling at the time that I create those pages. Now that I've added all of the creative elements to my page, I'm going to add the writing. And I used a pencil board under the left hand page to make sure that I've got a flat surface to write on. And I'm using a Twisby fountain pen with a black ink. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this journal with me video and that maybe it's inspired you to get creating and documenting in your own journal. If you've enjoyed the video, it'd be great if you would leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them down below and I'll definitely get back to you. And don't forget to click the bell button if you want to be notified when I release new videos. I've also created a playlist with all of my Journal With Me videos, so if you've enjoyed this, please feel free to check all of those other videos out. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next one.